the great thing about being born in the late 70s um, and growing up in the 80s is that people still listen to radio. We had that family time, it was really important. So I grew up listening to my parents' music, to my music, to you know, music before their time, having conversations about their lives and their, their parents' lives. That's really important to me and it was important to my family. So I think that really influences um, how I go about making work in a way that hopefully can be um, relatable to, to everyone, even if it's not from their background, so to speak. It always varies what comes first, the story, the music, the movement, etc. These works, they're all inspired by the Max Roach Reinsist Freedom Now Suite. So that album being a 1963 album, looking at the anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation, thinking about the kind of weight and the weightedness of, of that time period uh, being released around 63, and apartheid in South Africa. It was really important for me to kind of think about different ways to approach all that so that it didn't all look the same, but hopefully there's glimpses of some of those things. I've always kind of get into this tricky place of making these works that of course are referencing history in some way, but because of how the cyclical nature of our world, uh, they always still wind to be very contemporary. Hopefully they see a connection to what the original thematic material is and was. It's in some ways leads us into some kind of dialogue, conversation. I love the Seattle audiences. They're really cerebral audience, so that you, I feel like they take everything a, a step further in, the, in a really exciting way for me as a, as a choreographer.